The topic of the video today is the local anesthesia. We know local anesthesia is a very important topic of exam and you will always have questions in your INBD, ADAT and AFK exam related to local anesthesia. First of all, let us try to see how you classify the local anesthesia into two groups, asters and the amides. Now, when we talk about aster local anesthesias, aster local anesthesias, they are metabolized in the plasma by the pseudocholine asterase enzyme. And esters are mainly available in the topical form. For example, you have a topical spray for benzocaine. The main problem with aster local anesthesia is that they have high allergenic tendency because they are forming a compound called as PABA or paramino benzoic acid. If you look at different aster local anesthesias here, we can see there is benzocaine, procaine or novocaine and the cocaine. Cocaine is actually the first local anesthetic that was ever used in dentistry and medicine. And the main disadvantage of cocaine definitely is the abuse potential, the addictive tendencies. Also, cocaine increases the pressure activity or sympathetomimetic activity of epi and norepi that can increase your blood pressure, hypertension, causing arrhythmia and also euphoria. Now, when we talk about the another group that is going to be your amide local anesthesias. Amide local anesthesias, all of them are metabolized in the liver. The enzyme used is P450. Now, very important the exception because exceptions are always asked in the exam. So, all the amide local anesthesias, they are metabolized by P450 system in the liver except the articane which is uh, amide local anesthesia but metabolized in the plasma. The amides like, like now these amide local anesthesias are less likely to produce allergic reactions as compared to asters. However, these amide local anesthesias they have sodium metabisulfite in the formulation, they have methyl parabene. Now, methyl parabene and sodium metabisulfite they can still produce allergic tendency in the amide local anesthesias. The methyl parabene it is added as a preservative that can create allergic tendency even with the amides and the second one is the sodium metabisulfite so sodium metabisulfite is added to prevent the oxidation of epinephrine in the local anesthesia but the problem is metabisulfite has a sulfur in it so the patients who are allergic to sulfur like asthma patient you cannot give them local anesthesia with the epi. You have to give them plain local anesthesia because asthma patients are very commonly allergic to sulfur. So if the formulation does not have epi, epi is not going to have the sodium metabisulfite either. We have some plain formulation like you have a carbocane 3% that can be without epi as well. Now, when we talk about the next one here, if you can see for the next group of the local anesthesias we have, so, this articane, prilocane and bupivacane. Articane also known as uh, septocane. The prilocane also known as citanest, which can be available with or without epi. And bupivacane or marcane, which is one of the longest acting local anesthesia we have. But it is very cardiotoxic. So, you don't use bupi or, mar or marcane in the heart patients. It is mainly used for long procedures like during the delivery procedure where you need a long time motor control. Now the articane is always available with the epi and as I told you it's an exception it is metabolized in the uh, plasma however it's amide. Also the carpule of the articane is 1.7 ml instead of the regular cartridge we have of 1.8 ml. Now for prilocane there is one more important point here that the prilocane metabolized to form methemoglobinemia. So the toxic doses, high doses of prilocaine can trigger methemoglobinemia which is a condition in which the iron in the heme component of hemoglobin cannot carry enough oxygen because the iron, the ferric form get mutated to the ferrous form which cannot carry oxygen. Now when we talk about the next uh, anesthesia here, if you can see the most important we have is the lidocaine that is the most commonly used as an injectable also known as a xylocaine and this lidocaine or xylocaine is available with epinephrine you have one is 200,000 formulation you have one is to 200,000 formulation of lidocaine xylocaine it can also be used as a topical lidocaine or xylocaine also is used as an anti-arrhythmic agent to treat life-threatening ventricular 
arrhythmias. Now the methylocaine or carbocaine is the shortest acting local anesthesia we have and this anesthesia is used for short procedure which are lasting for not more than 25 minutes. However, methylocaine or carbocaine cannot be used for labor procedures or for neonates. It is going to be toxic. But you can have methylocaine, carbocaine, the plain formulation like 3% methy without epinephrine it can be definitely used for the heart.